I wouldn't meddle with it. And God between us and all harm, I don't want to see anyone around here meddling with that enchanted place. Jesse <laughs> Watson. Now then, I'm on Kill Clooney Moor, on my way to a whacking great dolmen. Most impressive I've been to yet. I'm just about 10 miles from Donegal. It was a very nice surprise how well my last video did. And to uh, say a thanks to those new subscribers and those who were supporting my little channel, thought I'd uh, improve my get-up. Proper Indiana Jones, Yorkshire style. Stitched it up myself. And I've got rid of them flipping sandals. Got some proper obnail boots on job. Oh, aye. So thanks very much for that. Aye, it made my day. I'm going to play it this way for you, just the very way it was. Thank you, everyone. Those are Pikey's first. Right? Then you have Rory. No, Pikey wasn't born. Pikey didn't Yeah. I mean, been born, born first. No, last. 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 Oh, you're on our last. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. The, over in that direction, those mountains are on the other side of the bay. A vista of sea locks dotted with islands, the green and gold merging with the blue of the water. It's granite stone here. And there's granite stone jutting out of the moor all over the place. There's a lot of mounds with bit, bits of granite boulders sticking out and I've no doubt some of them probably are undiscovered tombs or dolmens or whatever with the mound still intact around them. We're just walking up to it now. I have a sort of a fad for going to them places. I, uh, something I can't help doing, I must do it. Or if I would stay away too long from that, then I would think that I was, that there was something wrong, that there was something that, that I wasn't seeing right, and I have to go. Once I take that notion, then I must go. I love stone, but I always wanted to look at it across my eyes. Do you know, I never found it interesting when I was young. We never took the time to think. But the fact is, when you say all those thousands of years ago, they had it in their mind to do that, to build it like that. I find it quite amazing. pointing away to the moon. Don't concentrate on the finger or you will miss all that heavenly glory. Try to find your way along the, along the road just as well as you could, you know, that sort of way. And you know, it was just very nice to see the, you know, at that time the seas all coming along. You see, it was all. I remember too that it would be a continual holiday until we would leave again. Well, I remember all that now. Ah, that that was a jolly time, a jolly time, surely.
What does it feel to be down there with people talking to you from the surface? Oh, lovely. I'm that happy now if they put a corpse in alongside me, it wouldn't worry me. You were looking forward to the sound of the earth and the stones hitting the coffin as they buried you. Did you find that this was quite as pleasant as you expected? Oh yes, I was looking forward to it. It was, it was lovely to hear it pumping off at the lid me. Any feeling of loneliness? No, not a bit in the world. any contact with the outside world. Well, how were you, you thinking about going down there, Tim? Oh, when I was away at sea and, and uh, about friends that, that was dead. Did any, did any thoughts keep reoccurring to you, Tim? Only that the last sweet, he was on top of the earth. He, he had a mole built up around him. about some of our adventures <laughs> on Earth, Sabrina, and so on. So that was how, that's how we did. That was very interesting to the people, and would you believe it, that since we stopped, the people got lonely. They got lonely about it. They would like to see us once more again coming. Stars do brightly shine. Come away, it will come again when all nature does combine.
just wave goodbye to an Irish traveller here in um, here in Ardra. <coughs> the grand-nephew of John Doherty, who's a bit of a local legend, a uh, fiddler. When we had the clans system here in this country of ours, when we had the O'Donnells and the O'Neills and the Maguires and so forth and so on, each family had their own tradesmen. Not alone had they their tradesmen, they, they had their storytellers, they had their poets, and uh, and um, men of, of literature and uh, as i say they had their tinsmiths and their blacksmiths too when uh, these families were broken up say um, uh, that started off here after the battle of kinsale after 1607 and the o'donnells as you know and the o'neills left most of these tradesmen went on the road and John Doherty and his family were offsprings of these uh, of these tradesmen, and good tradesmen they were. Well then, there were a class of people, and you know, they were uh, too but highly sprung to begin to do, you know, very rough labour. And they went in more for music and, and trade. Here he is, to play you out, the nephew of John Doherty, the grand nephew, and uh, lay by in Ardra. There you go, real McCoy. <laughs> that's, that's years of people tell you about, about playing music. And I go to the calling as well. People often say to me, what's the best instrument that you the best at? Well, I have to say, I love the accordion now and all, but the mouth organ is the best. Because it's simple, I made many the pound when I was young for that, because it was easy, easy to, it was hard to play, but it's easy to buy, and you could buy them for a good <laughs> pound, you know. And you still, that one I bought, that's now 25 euros, so, uh, people say, how long does it take to play? It takes years to learn to play it. It has to, you know, some people learn, learn them quicker, some people sing it, other people could be at it for a bit. 12 months before they go to Hangman, you know. So here's another lovely one, of course, I guess, as you're up now. It's called The Homes of Donegal. I'll just do a few quick ones first, just two or three. Just, this is what they call real skill. There's very few can do it in this unless they have real skill, so just go to this. <laughs>
thanks for watching do all that youtube -y stuff click the bell by the way all notifications use that yeah Oof. that's uh <laughs> and i'm i'm oh. left me so happy such a nice fella there we go stay dangerous cheerio bye in going into graves like this and burying yourself in a fairy fort there's a risk in this always isn't oh, there's there? an awful risk in every you're not pushing your luck a bit risking the fairies as well right. on top of, of this. course i am but there's no such a thing as a fairy <laughs>